Yeah, I, th- I think the the technical definition of a hyper carnivore is eating more than seventy percent of your caloric intake as mm-hmm. as uh, eating meat. Um, I would think that a hyper carnivore would be just strictly meat, but you know, someone, someone came up with this definition and that's what they decided that it was. I don't know exactly who coined that. I don't know if that's, if there are other, uh, places where you'll find a different definition of that, but that's, that's the one that's, that's used commonly now is that you eat more than 70% of your calories from, from meat, but certainly humans have been more than a hyper carnivore. They've been pure carnivores for much, much, uh, you know, longer than, uh, you know, we, we give it credit for the, you know, the evidence for this is, is quite robust. You know, we have the, the stable isotope studies, which really just show exactly what these animals were eating from the, from, you know, sampling, uh, the, 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 the stable isotopes that, that exist in their bones and the fossils and finding that our ancestors that, you know, homo sapiens, early, earlier homo sapiens and other uh, human species such as Neanderthal, that they had, they were, they had a higher carnivore rating than even other carnivores alive at the same time, like lions, hyenas, wolves, foxes as well. So, you know, that means that we were eating those carnivores as well. So that, that's, that's the definition of being an apex predator, being top of the food chain. I mean, you eat anything below you, you, you will eat any animal. Anything that comes that's dumb enough to get close to you, you know, you're going to take down. And we were very, very good at this. And, you know, we took down, you know, we, we made a lot of uh, species, hunted them to extinction probably. Um, and so, you know, it's, uh, it was something that we were very, very successful at. And, you know, this was long before commercial fishing and, and farming hunting practices, people, you know, were, were, you know, ravaging <laughs> these, these animal species because, you know, they were just so successful at hunting. So we've, we've been really the most successful species around. I, and I was, you know, uh, temporize that with, by saying, you know, except for maybe ants, because ants are just like, they've just in their own little realm of the world, they, they really are in charge. So they've, they've been very, very successful, but, you know, as far as, as far as the big animals are concerned, you know, we're, we're definitely it. And, and the reason being is that we were just able to hunt and eat basically anything, you know, in land or sea, you know, we take down whales. Like, I mean, who does that? We're this tiny little, you know, we're tiny little, you know, terrestrial mammal and we're taking down, you know, blue whales, you know, like that's crazy. And they used to do it with, with harpoons and not even modern technology. So, you know, we were very, very successful and the evidence shows that we were far more than 70% animal base, but, you know, we had some ability to eat some plants during times of starvation and extremity, you know, but that, that was during times of extremity, you know, we didn't need to do that all the time. And when we didn't need to do that, we didn't do that. And you know, we, we even see this in, in more modern societies where the, you know, people that are more poor and impoverished, they would tend to be eating more, more grains and plants to flesh out their meals. Whereas people that were more wealthy, they were eating meat, you know, meat was always the desired food. So this is, you know, it's only very recently that people have started arguing that meat isn't actually as healthy. Everyone's known uh, for a long time, just through, through personal results that, you know, this is, this is the most, uh, so, you know, the most beneficial nutrient.